Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, George. So I'm here with my stationary compressor. It's a DWA DXCM601. It's a 155 PSI compressor. Tanks are rated at 175 pounds. That's the max allowable pressure on there. Um, it's a 240 volt unit, runs on 15 amps. Currently I'm running it with a small pigtail adapter here and a 40 foot six gauge uh, extension cord. Uh, cast iron lubricated head for pump. Um, three quarter inch outlet here. Have reduced out to half inch. Haven't had any issues so far. And since I'm gonna be mounting it in my shed, I needed a way to access a tank drain. So I bought me this extended tank drain here. It's a D-Wall kit. It's a DXCM072-0023. It's a flexible hose, quarter inch MPT threads, um, 175 PSI maximal pressure, or maximum working pressure, and pre-applied uh, thread sealant on there. So besides that, uh, we're gonna try one last time here with the, the whole bar generator. And then uh, we're gonna put it in the shed and make it its new home there. So here's the bottom plug. And I'm gonna turn it counterclockwise. And there's no pressure in there, there's no fluids. Now I'm gonna get my adjustable wrench here and take off this plug here. So here's a little plug that I removed. We're gonna open this one up. Here's the kit, I already went ahead and opened it up. And we're gonna twist it in place. As you can see, we have it facing the front of the compressor. All right, guys, so now the compressor, uh has a nice drain, you know, extending outwards, and I can just hold it, drain it, put a little bucket, you know, maybe even just put it out of the way there. But so far, there's no liquids in there. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can uh, do some cutting and see if I can get some liquids in there to drain them out for you guys. 